Good morning, Shiloh Point. Thank you for tuning in to Shark Watch News. I'm Chloe. And I'm Emma. Teachers, at this time we would like you to, to remind you to submit your attendance for Monday, May 20th, 2013. We have five days of school left and we are on week B schedule. Our pledge leaders are joining us today from Miss Tompkins' kindergarten class. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. And now, here is Hannah with our weather and wonder of the day. Good morning. My name is Hannah. For today's weather, we have a high of 84. Today's wonder is a look into the science of Spider-Man's web. Hey guys, it's Morgan. Now we know Peter Parker makes his own web fluid, but if he ever wanted to use real spider silk, he'd have one of the strongest fibers known to man. Amazing, right? I'm here with Dr. Randy Lewis, who is a world-renowned expert on the strength of spider silk. Now most people don't know this, but spider silk is actually five times stronger than this piece of steel right here. Is that true? That's absolutely true. No way! How many pounds could this hold up? About 120 pounds. It stretches and stretches, but doesn't break. Right. Now, we see that on Spider-Man all the time. There's some give, but it doesn't break. That's really the key to spider silk. So we make synthetic silk here. We can make hundreds of meters at a time. Wow! How's that for ultimate? These are the spiders that they use for the spider silk. The spiders that we use are called golden orb weavers. You find them around the Caribbean and down into South America. And they're nice because they're very docile. We can put one on your arm. If this thing bites, me while I turn into Spider-Man? Really? For more web sling in action, check out Marvel's Ultimate Spider-Man right here on Disney XD. Thanks, Hannah. Now it is time for our final Moving on Monday segment with Tony G. Roll tape. Push-ups are a basic exercise anyone can do almost anywhere. And as you get stronger, you can change up your positions to challenge yourself even more. Push-ups are a good way to strengthen your upper body. Now, I need a strong upper body to block defenders from trying to sack my quarterback. Tony just threw him out of the way and went to the inside and caught the football. Or getting off the line of scrimmage. Throws, that's a touchdown! Everyone needs to do them to strengthen their core, which are the muscles that stabilize your entire body. All right, for the first one, we're gonna start a moderation push-up. Everybody lie flat on your stomach. Knees down. Hands on the ground, shoulder width apart. And you push up, okay? Now go down. Now back up. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. We'll do five. Four. Come on, we do five. We're down. And five. And as it gets easier for you, then you can go to the full push-up, which is where you put your feet on the ground. Can you guys do that one? All right, put your feet on the ground, and we're gonna do the regular push-up, and keep that back straight. You don't wanna lean down like this, or hurt your back. You wanna make sure you keep that body straight. All right, let's start them. Down, one. Down, two. Down, three. See, keep your uh, back arched up so you don't hurt it. Okay, down. Four, down, five. For more fitness tips, you can go to nflrush.com backslash. Thank you, Tony G. Here's Miss Johnson with our Monday morning message. Good morning, sharks. Can you believe it? 
it's the very last Monday of a fabulous school year. You know, I have one shout out today, and that is to our fifth grade. This year's fifth grade has been extraordinary. They've worked so hard. Their scores on all the different tests they've taken have been remarkable. They've gone out in our community and represented our school beautifully. I've gotten letters about how respectful they are and polite and how smart they are. I just couldn't be prouder of fifth grade. So I want to give a special shout out to them, and I want to send my very best wishes for their middle school years. Fifth grade, you have the brightest of futures ahead of you, and I'm excited about where you're headed. Now, fourth grade, you've got some big shoes to fill. So be thinking about the type of legacy or mark you're going to leave here at Shiloh Point. Our fifth grade this year, they've been a wonderful model for you. And I know that you will be extraordinary too. So, this is Miss Johnson, your principal, signing off for a fabulous year and wishing you guys the best of summers. Have fun, play hard, relax, and we'll see most of you next year. Goodbye, Sharks. Thank you, Miss Johnson. And now for announcements. Tuesday and Wednesday morning, CRCT makeup testing will be going on in the Media Center. Please move quietly in the halls. The fifth grade celebration day and graduation is in Friday. Class parties will be going on all week. Please make sure you clean up. Congratulations to the Shallow Point Science Olympiad team. They competed on Saturday and had an awesome time. Thanks to Miss D'Amico and Miss McCauley. Thank, Thank you for tuning in to Shark Watch News. Have a marvelous Monday. Stay tuned for our school song. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs>